Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Good morning, Felicia Mamadou. I enjoyed you both. Wow, I really enjoyed this role because it's so contrary to what I know of both of your careers. Before we talk a little bit about the film, beginning with you, Felicia, you've had you continue to have this wonderful career of interesting roles, and this is another dynamic to an already legendary career. How do these type of roles continue to define who you are as an actress? Oh, I I don't even know how to answer that. I uh, what the roles afford me, the different roles afford me is the opportunity to expand. Uh, not so much in what is what is put out, but in terms of what is drawn inside. You know, the places inside myself that I must visit <laughs> to, uh, to give an honest life to each character. Right, right. Yeah. And the same for you, um, Mamadou, the last project that I saw you in, you were a quite clear protagonist. We were rooting for you. And now we get to see a different dynamic into who you are as, <laughs> a, as, a, newer, as a newer actor and people becoming more familiar with your work. How do these type of roles kind of further cultivate your audience and give more insight to who you are as an actor? Oh, uh, it, it's exciting to hear that, um, that that's even a possibility, cultivating an audience for me. But uh, honestly, it was just a matter of like, you know, who I get to work with and what the material is. Um, that, and, and, you know, playing a different kind of part, like, I, you know, like, like Nolan, I'd never seen a part quite like it. Um, uh, so, that was the real, real excitement for me. And then getting to work with someone like Emmanuel and then Mr. Shot is just like, oh, well, okay, there's no way but to do this project and, and learn, you know, so. Yeah. The, the challenge for me today for coming to talk to you guys were there were so many layers and there's so many interesting things that happened to both of your characters from when we first meet them till we get to the grand finale and not revealing what those things are to the people who are gonna watch this interview because I want them to see it with fresh eyes like I did. Uh, Felicia, for, for your character, Dr. Lillian, she's a doctor. She's doing a, like clinical trials to help people who are suffering with memory loss. How would you describe her and what she means to, to, Nolan's, to Nolan uh, throughout the film? She is an accomplished psychologist an accomplished researcher. And now she has developed, she has developed a, a, a technology that is breakthrough. Mm -hmm. And what she means to Nolan is an opportunity to recover himself. Mm -hmm. And the same for your character, I'm gonna do for your character, Nolan, we know that he's had an accident and he's had a traumatic physical injury happen to him. And now he's in the aftermath of that, that physical trauma and trying to find himself, way, find his way back to his life and how he was living before. What can you say additionally about his journey from when we meet him to the end? Well, um, to say he starts off as a blank slate is a lie but he has no idea where he is in the, in his story. He, he's, it's like, he's, he's, he's not quite starting from square one because he still has these, his old impulses for certain things or some kinds of impulses for certain kinds of things, but they're apparently not uh, in accordance with how he lived his life previously. So he's like wondering if it's like, you know, how like, you know, sometimes how brain damage works or like something else. So he, he's digging to find out. And as he, finds out more and more, the more he starts to come into himself <laughs> mm -hmm. without giving too much away. <laughs> well, no, not really. See, yeah, that is the key. I, that was so 
enjoyable for me because I started traveling one way with your characters. I mm -hmm. thought one thing was happened and there was a detour and then mm -hmm. other things. And we have other people who are adding to the unfolding of their eventual finale. Mm -hmm. uh, Felicia, with uh, Dr. Lillian's character, I love the, there's always such a regalness and nobleness and everything about you. Whenever I see you in any type of project, beautiful, noble, accomplished woman with this being no exception, but there are different layers. Is it fun to kind of live inside those different layers because it's such a different character from what we've seen you before, portray before? It's always fun. It's fun to grow. It's fun to expand. It's fun to experiment with uh, understanding and expression. It's fun to interact. Um, and it's so interesting because, you know, as actors, okay, we've read the script and we know the full story, right? Mm -hmm. And yet we must be in the moment. Mm -hmm. And in the moment, the character doesn't know the full story. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really like this and I really love both of you in it. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black